Hi everyone, my name is Whitney and I am a dental hygienist. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Let's talk about what sets deep cleanings apart from the other types of dental cleanings. A deep cleaning, also known as SRP or scaling and replaning, is a type of cleaning that is not a better cleaning than a regular cleaning. I want to start by saying that right away because I've had lots of patients that request a deep cleaning thinking it's a better cleaning or it sounds better, but not everyone can physically have a deep cleaning. If your gums are healthy, you do not have any perio pocketing or bone loss, but you have lots of tartar buildup on your teeth, simply having this tartar does not mean you need a deep cleaning. So let's talk about this. There are give or take for the purpose of this video about three different types of cleanings. The first type is a regular cleaning, a profi, if your gums are healthy. Then let's jump to the third type, which is a deep cleaning. When your gums are not healthy and you have bone loss and or tartar below the gum line that needs to be removed. And then the second type of cleaning right in the middle is called a scaling in the presence of gingival inflammation. Sometimes dental providers will do a full mouth debridement. Whatever the case, the second type is the middleman type of cleaning. Not quite a regular cleaning because the gums are not healthy enough for that and not quite a deep cleaning because your gums are too healthy for that and or you don't have bone loss. That's just a quick background as to which type of cleaning we're talking about today in this video. We're talking about deep cleanings, the third type of cleaning, which entails removing tartar below the gum line when there is pocketing or bone loss. If you're someone who needs a deep cleaning, the dentist or the dental hygienist or both will show you the evidence as to why you need this deep cleaning to improve your dental health. The evidence generally contains both periodontal charting measurements, I have a video all about that if you're interested in learning more, and x-rays. X-rays will show the level of the bone and possibly sometimes can even show tartar below the gum line. Keep in mind, your gums are a gateway to your entire body, your bloodstream, right? So when there is tartar below your gum line, tartar is a bad bacteria and it essentially eats away the bone that holds your teeth in. Now you can imagine what happens when the tartar eats away too much bone. Your teeth can get loose and eventually fall out. Of course, that is a very dramatic scenario, but it can happen, I've seen it. So to prevent this from happening, if you have tartar below your gum line and you have perio pocketing and bone loss, you'll need a deep cleaning. And if this is not you, you don't need a deep cleaning, always make sure you keep up with your regular dental cleanings so you won't ever get to the point of needing a deep cleaning. Right, I don't wanna stress anyone out about this. I just wanna make sure everyone is aware how important your routine cleanings are. And if you do need a deep cleaning, how important that is to get that done because that is the only way to remove the bad bacteria from below your gum line. So that's it. I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe if it did. I really hope it gave you some insight into what type of cleaning you might be getting or you have had or you should be getting. Always talk with your dentist or your dental hygienist if you have any questions. And if you want more Teeth Talk, you can visit my website, teethtalkgirl.com, where I have more articles and videos about healthy mouths and healthy teeth. Peace, love, and teeth.